Hi everyone, I hope you are well. This is Online Avedini. Today I'm gonna teach you how to implement a leaflet map in Angular. And following of that, uh, we're gonna work on other options, adding some features and also markers and such things on it. But first of all, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to uh, complete the configuration of uh, this map. So let's get started. Okay, actually, I have an uh, Angular app in a salt version uh, 17. Uh, now I want to add a uh, component, ng generate component, uh, for example, lift the map. So that it create a company for me. Okay, now I have a component uh, to uh, implement uh, leaflet map on it, and I have app the component the HTML that I have uh, wrote uh, wrote outlet in it, so that I can uh, have a page have a separate page for a leaflet map. So uh, let me add route here, uh, import, import leaflet leaflet map component. And here in routes, I would define a path path should be empty for the main page and the uh, component should be leaflet map. So now if I uh, see the result, it's showing leaflet map works, okay? Uh, the empty component. So in here, uh, I should define a div with the class For example, map container or map section and a dive for uh, with the ID for the map. Okay, so now I have a uh, uh, two division actually uh, for a uh, our DOM to define the, where uh, uh, the map locate. And now I have to give it a style. Dot map container. And uh, for example, map in here, like this. Okay, so here I can, for example, define some uh, uh, properties. For example, I've defined a haze, uh, 100% uh, with 100% for the map itself and for the container. For example, I define uh, haze uh, 406. So now I have uh, HTML and CSS stuff. Uh, also for this you can uh, write uh, like CSS uh, like this for example suppose you have CSS you can write it like this okay so now I have a CSS and uh, based on your choose you can uh, uh, define uh, properties and a style uh, for your map okay so uh, let's uh, start configuration of map you know because it's an uh, angular version 17 it's a standalone standalone show and uh, if I for example want to import it in another component I should uh, import it in that component and add it inside import part import array so that I can use it in HTML but now it's just a page I have a page called leaflet map and here I should uh, configure 
whatever I want. Uh, so first of all, let me add something because I want to have a configuration uh, once uh, my component in it, I should have ng init here on init and here I should write implements inside class implements uh, on init and here I should define two things first of all constructor and also ng on init like this okay so here I can define a function so that I can uh, configure my map for example I write this dot config map and I define its function here with a comment config map and I define a function like this okay so whatever I'm gonna do should be here inside this so that I can uh, show my map on a page. Now I have uh, nothing on a page and uh, it should be empty. Uh, okay, so let me go to leaflet documents. Okay, here, first of all, uh, you know, we, uh, we should uh, write such things so that we configure our default map. Uh, before that, because we are using Angular, we should go uh, and install the package, a leaflet package, npmi leaflet, uh, as you see, uh, copy this and uh, install it in a project. So uh, it's uh, completed. You know, uh, be careful about something. Sometimes when you install a uh, leaflet, uh, you have error uh, to use it. You know, if you, for example, start uh, uh, configuration and using the uh, leaflet map, then you may face the problem, to the issue that is related to the TypeScript. Uh, let me show you the solution. Uh, you see, before I the start uh, recording, uh, this video, I have already installed uh, types leaflet. You see, like this. So if you face the problem, type problem, and it was not working, the following code was not working, you should install uh, this type so that it works uh, properly because it's dependency uh, required. Uh, so let's just continue and leaflet I have already uh, added the uh, package now I should import star as L from leaflet okay so now it's uh, prepared and it's ready to uh, configure and write uh, this configuration here. Okay, so uh, first of all, I should define a map variable. Uh, so uh, pay attention that because we want to add uh, many features in the future, uh, we should define our variables uh, outside the uh, function like this variable. And for example, map as any, and here we should define this dot map is equal to l dot l dot map with the ID of uh of map what we defined here map, okay, and some options like this uh, some options that we can define uh, here uh, is, uh, and there's nothing but we can also add some options i think uh, yeah you see there is an options object that you can define your map options uh, so uh, for the future for example uh, zoom or anything else
Uh, okay, so before that, let's do something. We have this entity, and we should also define a set view. Set view, or it, even we can write it in options. Yeah, we should define center actually here, and I want to uh, define a uh, lat and uh, latitude of uh, America. So it's fourteen. It's forty dot uh, forty two fifty eight. Uh, and sixty-eight six, and also for longitude, I have eighty-nine, eighty-six. Sorry, dot nineteen, eighteen, six hundred fifty-five. Okay, and also you should define zoom. Zoom should be, for example, something like, uh, I don't know, let me define 6 for it. And now uh, we defined a uh, value for our map that we defined it as variable. Now we should add a uh, tile. Tile is important because uh, I want to show a map uh, like this. There are uh, many tiles uh, that you can use, but at the moment, uh, we want to use the default one that we have it here. So uh, we should define L dot tile tile layer with the value of uh, what we had before. Okay, this is the address, and also here we have options object. Uh, here we want to add attribute attribution unlike exactly what it had uh, what it has uh, in the human so that it shows the uh, stuff this is the stuff for uh, copyright and at the end we should add it to map uh, for all the features and all the things that we want to add to our map, we should use this add to this dot map. Okay, so now what's the result? Yeah, yeah. As you see, we have the map and it's showing it properly. But I think that uh, attitude and Latitude uh, are wrong because uh, it's not showing America, but however, the map is showing properly. So you can uh, define any uh, coordinate that you want and also make all of them uh, dynamic. So, uh, in the following courses, I'm going to show you how to. Uh, add and implement other features uh, for this map because now uh, we just uh, add some configuration uh, and the main, um, the main thing and the main purpose is to use this map in a professional way. So I hope that this video uh, be uh, valuable and useful for you. Thank you.